Hi, welcome to the preview video of the Panasonic SC-BTT755 Blu-ray Disc Home Theatre Sound System. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to watch the unboxing, uh, which just came under the 15 minute YouTube uh, uh, has placed on uh, user videos, so I was very lucky there. So um, hopefully I won't be up against that limit in this video. Um, what I will mention is that um, the unit that drives the sound system uh, is pretty much a Blu-ray disc player, uh, which also has speaker connectors on it as well. Uh, it's, it's quite similar in many respects to the uh, Panasonic DMP-BDT300 that I looked at um, a couple of weeks ago. So if you're looking for features and all that sort of stuff, it's fairly similar, but we'll have a look at it anyway. So just having a look at uh, what we've got here. So the sound system cont uh, consists of um, an array of speakers, as one would expect. So it consists of a uh, pair of front speakers, left and right. And it's important to note that on the back, uh, it does mention that um, they are the front speakers, so when you're wiring them up, or uh, assembling them, I should say, um, make sure that you do, um, or when you're connecting it up, I should say, uh, you, you connect the correct speakers to the correct outputs on the back, which I'll show you later. The uh, other thing you should also note is that um, each speaker has a color-coded uh, plug on the end. So you can see this one is red, and this one is white so red is the right speaker and white is the left speaker for the front speakers. Similarly for the uh, rear speakers again you have another two and again uh, down the back here so you can see that that one's got a grey plug and this one's got a blue plug and similarly on the back it will tell you that it is a, a surround uh, speaker not sure if you can see that there. So just take care when you are wiring these up because you hate to wire them up the wrong way. Uh, of course there's, there's also a center channel speaker up the front which is this friend here uh, which has a green plug uh, and that connects to the head unit. So what we'll do now is we'll just have a look at the uh, unit itself. So this unit does play Blu-ray discs as I've mentioned so uh, there is the slot so similar to the uh, Blu-ray disc player that I reviewed not reviewed previewed a couple of weeks back uh, it can read CDs DVDs and Blu-ray discs which is good uh, there are a few added extras so um, before I get to that uh, it does have an SD card slot and a USB socket so you can connect external storage and play media off that and on the front there as well there's play and stop buttons and a select button there as well on the top you also have uh, volume controls uh, the open and close button for the uh, disc tray and also a power button In terms of uh, an added benefit here, uh, you do have uh, an iPod slash iPhone dock connector there, so you can you can whack in your iPod or your iPhone as you would expect and play directly off the device and through the sound system, which is pretty fantastic. And of course, with any good sound system, you have a subwoofer. So. You can see here it's a pretty big speaker as you'd hope and expect. And again, it comes with a color coded plug on the end there. What we'll do now is we'll just have a look on the back of the unit. So, going from left to right, we have the uh, power connector there. And as mentioned, uh, we have all of the speaker connectors on the back there. So going from left to right, we have the subwoofer, which is purple. It might come out dark blue on this video. 
green which is the center channel uh, audio uh, red and white for the front speakers and gray and blue for the rear speakers or the surround speakers as it designates there moving along here so we have active cooling in the form of a fan here now it is a much larger fan compared to that on the uh, blu-ray disc player i looked at a couple of weeks back uh, so much so that it protrudes out the back of the unit so it must generate quite a bit of heat during its standard operation we have one hdmi port um, and you'll see that it has ARC which is audio return channel so this allows the television to send back audio whilst receiving video from this particular unit so you only need the one cable and you won't need to connect uh, that digital audio uh, connector there so you only need one cable which is pretty fantastic uh, moving along we have an ethernet port 10 base T slash 100 base TX so that means it can work at either 10 megabits or 100 megabits uh, again slightly disappointed that it wasn't a gigabit port uh, which uh, other devices like the PlayStation 3 happen to have um, but you know, 100 megabits is probably enough to get by anyway on the back here is a, another USB port uh, specifically for a wireless LAN dongle so I did receive one of those with the blu-ray player um, I'll, I'll make a decision as to whether or not I use that I did pick up a uh, an 8 port gigabit, uh, gigabit uh, switch to connect up all of these devices uh, just in case moving along so we have analog outputs here so left and right channel audio so the auxiliary ports there uh, the white and red ones plus the uh, yellow video outs which rounds out the uh, composite video output moving along so now you will also notice here a 75 ohm connector now you might be wondering what that is for uh, what this unit has um, over and above what the uh, blu-ray disc player had uh, that I looked at previously is uh, you can connect uh, an antenna to it and get FM radio on the unit as well uh, which might be an added benefit for those of you uh, looking to uh, get rid of your radio or trying to consolidate your devices uh, next to that we have a digital audio in socket so if you have one of those optical cables to connect up to your other devices you can use that uh, but I will just be using the HDMI port for my use now the final thing over here is um, a socket for the digital transmitter so ordinarily when you first get the unit it'll look like that but this unit here uh, which plugs right in there like so <coughs> Uh, allows you to uh, connect wirelessly to the rear speakers so you won't need to run a really long cable around the room or through your walls or through the roof or however you want to do it or maybe even under the carpet uh, in order to get to your rear speakers so um, I will definitely be employing this um, as one um, I don't fancy trying to get audio cables through um, concrete walls uh, nor am I so inclined to do so anyway uh, now this brings us to <coughs> the wireless uh, system for the rear speakers so as you can see it's a fairly small box compared to the uh, the head unit and on the back here uh, two lots of speaker connectors so again they're color coded uh, there's a switch here for surround sound there's an ID set socket there so I'm presuming so you can pair it with the head unit 
and also a power connector as well. Other than that, there's nothing, not much else to this particular device. So in a nutshell, that's the Panasonic Blu-ray Disc Home Theatre Sound System SC-BTT755. Uh, as with all of the other devices I've received, um, I will go through a period of review with this. Uh, I, again, the standard is usually one month, but we'll see how we go. And uh, stay tuned uh, for my review. Thanks for watching.